I am sure that the 12 disciples felt rather honored that they would be invited by the Messiah, which seems to be the reality of the person that they're following, Jesus Christ, would give them a very special place in both history and in the presence of all his, their peers, the people with whom they lived and grew up with. You're going to be special, they said. Well, James and John are thumbs of thunder. And so the sons of thunder are very, very vocal about what they think they should have. Have any of us ever experienced that, that we think we're pretty good? And we feel that everybody should see how good we are. It's kind of common, it's normal. I mean, it's not an abnormal thing to do. I mean, I'm special. Well, you know what Jesus' response to them was? Yeah, you're asking for some things that are not going to be easy. If you want to be like me, be ready to endure. I remember a coach telling me that. If you want to play ball, boy, you better be up, first of all, to the practice. And if you're going to be practicing, be ready to face the field with a lot of courage, but not alone. You face it with the team. You're just one of the whole members out there on the floor or in the field. You're just one. But the bottom line of that is that if we are going to drink the cup that Jesus drank of and we are baptized to do so, we're baptized into Jesus Christ and that means that baptism is calling us to something strong, in will and something strong in endurance. Because if our Christian life is not tough, if it doesn't really cause pain in our lives, hurt, feeling really bad about how people are accepting or not accepting me, then we're not doing the job. We're not playing in the field. We're just gliding along with the rest of people. That's not Christianity. Even Pope Francis says, you know, the problem with our church is that a lot of people are, want to be privileged, want to feel very important. And he puts it in a very good context. I, there's, there's some farmers here in this community. You know what it means to go out and feed the pigs. You know what it means to, well, I had to learn, milk the cow and how it happens when the cow kicks the bucket over. You know, those are, those are some trying times as a 13-year-old, as a but we had to do that. Um, the fact is, though, he said, you got to smell like sheep. And I know when my great aunt used to say, you got to change your clothes, Billy, before we go to church. You're not going to smell like some old cow. Well, that was probably good advice. But what Francis is saying to us, to smell like sheep means you walk and run around with them. And they're the poor, the people that are deprived, those that need something. You have to be ready to embrace them, first of all, in concern. You see them out on the street. You know, when you go into St. Louis, very often you see them on the corners. Have a little sign. Help me. I have no home. I'm hungry. Well, those are evident ones. We don't have to go to St. Louis to find them. All we have to do is go around our community and find out who's, who's locked in home today? Who can't come out? You think we could make some time and go visit them for a moment? Or call them up and see if they need something to do? One of the most important things is to remember, if we have, we have to give. If we don't have, we have to ask. And to be sure that we are those that are going to give when someone asks, that's when the real thing hits the pavement. The tire hits the pavement when all of a sudden we have to make a decision. Oh, I had my plans. I can't do that. That's not what Jesus says to us. Get up and go do it. So I think that we have a challenge here today when Jesus says to him, yeah, you will. You'll drink the cup. If, if you're really convinced of who you are in the kingdom of heaven right here on earth. And it will at times be painful. It will hurt 
because you have to give up your own will. You have to look so you can help somebody else. That's Christianity in action. And God knows this world right now that's torn in half in so many places needs a lot of good example. So that's what we're here for, to get the grace of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. They can go outside those doors and show what we learned from Christ. Amen. Amen.